got God, you've got God, I've got God, I've got God. We should be happier, you're gonna learn something, read something, you should be happier. Hi, I thank you for giving me your trust and some of your time to see this new piece. In this video, I will guide you on how to download and install the Interim Ubuntu 23.10 on a Windows PC. I'm using Windows 11 to do this demonstration, but the same steps apply on Windows 10. You should have a stable and fast internet connection. You should have over 8 gigabytes of RAM and over 500 gigabytes of SSD and a good processor is a plus. We go online. We search for Ubuntu desktop. Scroll until you can see download twenty three ten. Click to download it. We bring up virtual box we right click to run as administrator we say yes i have a video here that is a guide on how to download and install oracle virtual box on a windows pc including the python requirements may you take a look at it please we go full screen we click here and we click this welcome then we click new you can see when we click to start creating the virtual machine, you can see the type is set to Microsoft Windows. But as soon as we type Ubuntu, see the type changed to Linux and the version changed to 64 bit. Then pick where you want to save the virtual machine on your computer if you don't want this default location you can click this click order and pick where you want to save it on your pc i'll leave the default here we'll pick the if the i saw image if the download is complete, we can click here, click order, go to downloads and select it and click open. That's if it's ready. If not, we just click next. We give it the base memory we can leave this 2048 or we can just increase it to this process or one is okay we click next here depending on what you want to use the ubuntu virtual machine for 
and the storage space on your host PC that's what we decide the storage you give to this virtual machine let's give it 150 if you do pre-allocate full size you have to check this and any size you give the virtual machine will go to the virtual machine immediately if you check this but if you don't it will fill up any size you pick will fill up as you use the virtual machine which is what I will recommend and if we click this and click next it can take over 30 minutes to an hour for the pre-allocated disk to be ready so we just say next we just say finish then we click settings we click advance here we say by directional here too this will let you share files folders and all that between the virtual ubuntu and your host computer here we uncheck we click floppy we bring it down we uncheck it we check network we leave it as it is we process or we sell we said one is okay here we leave it default the ubuntu 2310 supports tpm so we choose this we leave this as it is this is okay too okay we go to display this 16 megabytes for video memory is okay but we just want the best so we stretch it to the maximum this is okay we can enable this now we select this no we leave this and click this we click the plus we go to where we downloaded the i saw image for the ubuntu and pick it and click open and click choose does that then we click we enable this this is okay this is okay network we leave it on NAT we don't enable this this is okay okay we say okay then we power it
we go full screen you can use the up arrow key and the down arrow key to do this you have to leave it on try or install ubuntu then we press enter Once you follow the steps before we got to this window, you have to wait 5 to 10 minutes. To select the language that applies to you, you can press the letter, the first letter of your language. Let's say Francais. See, then we click here. To go back to English, we just press E and we select English. Or if you are Espanol, this is click that. I'll click English again and click next. We want to install Ubuntu. If you follow the steps from the beginning, to this point please you have to wait five to ten minutes before you see this installation window then we say next select the keyboard that you want you can also press the letter on the keyboard to make your selection let's go back to you again or you can do this we select and we go another way is to click detect and it will ask you to type any of these keys that's another way but let's go this way and click next yes we need wired connection we click next we click this we let's click to update the installer when we click and the installer is updated it will take us back to select the language keyboard and everything but it's okay so we click this again
so we click restart is only restarting the installer see throughout the installation keep your PC from falling asleep make sure your PC doesn't fall asleep again here we updated the installer it took us back to where we can choose language again select the language that applies to you click next select the keyboard you want and click next select yes wired connection then here we change it to full installation we check this and click next you can pick the first option to erase disk or do manual partitioning and click next you can do new partition I just advise that you just pick the first one which is to erase disk and install Ubuntu you can do this you can pick this click next and click just say install you can select the region or the country that applies to you or you can just leave it after the installation you can just type your city and pick your city or you can just leave it blank you can also select using the you can just select on the map see that's cool mail that's in India see <laughs> yellow knife <laughs> let's click next enter your name give the computer a name then if you want you can pick a different username let us a password this is the password you will use to log into your Ubuntu when it's created and when you want to run the super do command this is the password you will use so remember it you can even write it down then if you don't want to log in 
anytime you use Ubuntu you can just turn this off but I will leave it on you can see that to give us this option to choose between light or dark theme is also new with this interim Ubuntu 23.10 and you can see the activity that is customarily written here is gone we just have icon even before we finish the installation you can see then here we can pick any color we want you can choose dark if you want or you can leave it light so we go next it will start installing the system remember to keep your PC from sleeping and don't let this discourage you the ISO image we downloaded was Ubuntu 23.10 but look at here is showing 23 1.0.1 don't let that get you at the end of the installation we'll check and you'll see that is the 23 tender successfully installed You can see that the installation phase is complete. Now it's setting up the system. After this phase, it will restart, and that will be it.
on the bottom right this is terminal let's click and see you get to see all that is going on on the terminal see if you don't want that view you can change it to graphical the installation and the setting up are complete now we can restart when it says to try to remove the installation media just let it keep running it will skip to the drive by itself all you need to do after you click restart you just wait it will switch to the drive that has the installation by itself see now we click to login this we skip if you want to send info to canonica you can leave it on that and click next you can say wait if you want to turn on location services you can do this or leave it off then click next you see done see now we have to go to we open terminal we can press ctrl l to clear when you have this just say install now and for this updates to be installing it shows the internet is working we say restart now
press to login. Before we fix the full screen, let's just shut it down and remove the installation media. settings we uncheck this we select it and move it down we go to storage then we play Click and tap as well. We click we click settings. We click displays and look at the resolution. Here you need to change the resolution to the dimension of your host PC. You need to know what the dimension of your host PC screen is. Then you change it. Mine is 1920 by 1080 I just select it I just say apply I just say keep changes see then we can draw this that's the simple way to take care of the full screen challenge after you install it then we click users we click to unlock it we enter password we need to change this to any picture you want if you already have a picture in the ubuntu you can select file and pick it from where you have it but we don't have any yet so we click this and select any of these
now any app you use frequently you can just right click and pin it to dash and you can see this is new too before when we right click we just see add to favorites but now we just see is chain to pin to dash we just select the next time we want to go to settings we don't have to click to look for it we can do that for terminal to we click then we right click and pin it to dash you see it says it's pinned to dash then we do control L to clear then we do sudo app update and press enter we enter the password and press enter then we can also use the arrow key to bring that same command back and just do this and press enter see now let's test the internet see the internet works this is the new app center they built it with flutter and flutter is based on kotlin and flutter and kotlin are from google here we can type podcast we can click install we enter password see the internet is fast the installation did not take time as I expected click open we will now test the sound while that is coming up we can right click to see background see see that
see this is horizontal and two apps at once we can do see vertical then we can do four apps see now three apps are open see we have four windows open at once let's go to settings we click about we go full screen then we click system details you can see that the OS is Ubuntu 23.10 the genome version is 45.0 C and it's on Oracle see that is on Oracle virtual box on Windows let's close this let's close this we need to test the sound now this nice. we choose radio or podcast Get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t shirt. Tell me why. See, it takes the internet for the podcast to play, then the sound too is okay. That's that for this video. Thank you again for giving me your trust and some of your time to see it. Let me know where you saw the video from. What do you intend to use your Ubuntu for? And do you foresee a time where Ubuntu will become the most widely used operating system above Mac, Windows, and Google Chrome? Please give feedback, tag, follow. 
comment share and subscribe please see you in another refresher video